Hello Merv, this is Rich Lucero here at La Mesa RV. It did stop raining just a bit for me to be able to come out here and shoot a quick little video. I just walked up to this thing, so we're gonna tell, tell each other if this thing is gonna be a nice coach or not here in just a second. Let's start with the outside. Uh, first thing that kind of stands out to me is the paint job on this. Uh, this thing for 2013, uh, looks like it's been garage kept. Let's look at the windshield. There's lots of little rain things on there, but I don't see any cracks or any pits or anything on it. Uh, the front end looks like we got, no, oh, no, that's just the little diamond shield that's coming up that you could take that off. Uh, front end looks really nice. Looking around the other side of this, uh, you do have a metal wrapped awning. Uh, the awning toppers too over here. You got the big Velvac mirrors that are power remote and heated. Looks like we have some fa uh, not factory Toyos, so the tires have been replaced on this model. I'm showing all sorts of tread life. Wheels look good. Let's take a look. Oh, looks like the outdoor TV thing is locked. I'll have to get a key for that. Everything on this looks amazing from the outside so far. Uh, maybe up top there, maybe some light little scratching up towards the paint. Maybe a little bit of pinstriping. Not much. Let's see what we got down here. Some storage, storage all the way throughout the front. Everything shuts real nice. Again, matching Toyos in the back. Still plenty of tread life on these. Very nice. That looks to be a 10 gallon water heater. Let's see if we could open up these here in the back. Well, not much storage, but a little bit there. Shuts real nice. More storage in the back. Let's take a look at the rear. There's a ladder that goes from the bottom to the top. Backup camera. We got a hitch back here, 5,000 pound. Looks like you got a seven pin connector. It is a little dirty. Yeah, a little dirty. But the paint job on this looks amazing. There's gonna be the generator. We'll go inside and fire that up. Real good shot of the paint on this side. And everything looks really nice. If the inside looks as nice as the outside, this thing's going to be a real winner. Goodness sakes, gorgeous. Side view cameras right there. Well, let's take a look on the inside. There's the price. I like those windows. All right, let's take a look inside. Automatic steps come right on out. And let's see, power switch is right here. Let's see if we got some lights. Oh, that's just a little light right there. Looks like we got an inverter right here. Turn that on. Probably, yeah, lights for the inside. So the inverter works because I heard something turn on inside of here. Oh, wow, look at the floor. Gorgeous, very shiny. This is more than likely not a factory table. Uh, maybe some scratching on the top here. Uh, this is really nice. Toshiba big screen TV. Fireplace, electric fireplace. Looks like we got some wear on the seat right here. Some wear on the couch. Pull out sofa. Well, the woodwork in here is really nice. Cabinets over the top. Lots of headroom. Let's fire the engine up, see what it sounds like. Okay, so the engine starts right on up. Looks like we got about 17,000 miles on the odometer. No kind of lights on here. Uh, over here, fog lamps, heated mirrors, automatic leveling. the jacks going down while we're waiting for that let's turn on the generator let's see prime it here generator start right up looks like you got about 100 hours on the generator that's nothing and I feel the whole motorhome lifting right now gorgeous motorhome very nice Hopefully I don't fall on these slippery floors. 
as we're getting leveled. Solid surface countertops. You got a big Atwood oven. 30 inch microwave, convection microwave. Really nice. Again, solid surface countertops. Yeah, let's leave that open, see if the water pump is going to be on. Let's see, water pump. Oh, no, it is on. Battery showing full. Let's see if we got some water here. Nice pressure. A view of it from the other side here, too. And look at that refrigerator. Holy cow. That's a hell of a refrigerator. Frigidaire variety. I gotta, gotta turn it on here. Let's see. Off, off. I'm not sure how to turn this on. Hmm. Power. Press and hold. There we go. So now we should see some lights in here. Look at that. Buddy, this is nice. This is really nice. You got the split shower glass bowl. We're leveled. Let me see if I could shake anything. <laughs> Real nice and solid. See the lights that turn on in here. Lights are good. Nice size medicine cabinets. Big shower. Wow. Lots of headroom. Little stool there that you could sit on. And then your half bath right here. What is this? Head and storage. Oh yeah. Put a head and storage in there. Porcelain toilet. Turn on the lights. Very nice. Holy cow. Look at this bed. Look at this bedroom. Queen size bed. The newer ones are going with kings back here now. Let's take a look at the mattress. Uh, does not look like a factory mattress. Looks like a pillow top, inner spring, and big closet. Hanging storage. Another Toshiba TV right here. More storage view out the rear you do have the solar shades and also the blackout shades really nice uh, overall man this thing's a gem wow really nice holy cow but the flooring in here just blows you away let's uh let's see if we could turn some things off and make sure everything works properly let's see we're going to retract all jacks yep there we go everything lowered here looking good Turn off the generator, turn off the engine, and wow, this is really nice. Uh, I'll upload this up to YouTube and send you a link, uh, but I also got the pictures coming for the other model, uh, but man, I tell you what, this thing is a diamond. So other side from the little bit of wear on the seats, which you could probably get recovered, uh, everything seems to work and function like it's supposed to, and what a, what a nice unit for 54 grand. So anyway, uh, call me anytime. My cell phone number is 480-278-4623. And again, Rich here at LaMace RV, 480-278-4623. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.